Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support of the Gene Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act and thank my colleague, Congresswoman Slaughter, for her tireless work term after term to support this bill and ensure that it would eventually become law. Over the past several years, genetic discoveries have progressed at a remarkable rate. Today, doctors and scientists have the ability to detect genes linked to common conditions like colon cancer and heart disease. Individuals who learn about their genetic risk factors can make lifestyle changes and begin treatments that can prevent these conditions altogether. But too many Americans don't take advantage of these amazing breakthroughs for a very practical reason. They fear that the information will be used to deny them health insurance or even a job. While the best way to allay those fears would be to enact universal health care coverage for all, this bill is a fantastic first step. By prohibiting discrimination on the basis of our genes, this bill will improve the chances that average Americans can benefit from cutting-edge genetic science. It prom will promote better health care by helping Americans feel secure enough to learn about their genetic risk factors. As the daughter of a father who suffers from Alzheimer's and a mother who suffers from arthritis, I personally understand the need to make genetic testing a positive step in understanding one's genetic predispositions and making health care choices. It should be, not be a hindrance to getting or keeping one's job or health care benefits. While this bill will accomplish many great things, I want to point out just two very important ones. Number one, it will arm people with necessary and relevant information about their health. And number two, it will ensure that people won't be penalized for seeking and using this valuable information. I urge all my colleagues to support the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, and I yield back the balance of my time.